Hi, OCP. Just a quick video response to your two-part um, rant. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to go longer or not, but I wanted to jump in here. I agree with a lot of what you're saying, but I think you're coming down too hard on the uh, filmmakers on Hollywood. I mean, <clears throat> we all know that they're totally bankrupt as far as ideas, but whose fault is it that they're playing it safe? I mean, all you have to do is look at the history of film to know that filmmakers are usually behind the curve. You'll have one or two mavericks out front, they'll start a trend, and everybody jumps on the bandwagon. And uh, that's the way it's always been, and it's probably the way it's going to continue to be. The people that I think are responsible for the crappy films today are the people who pay money to see crappy films in the theater. You see these horrible films, these sequels, these um, reimaginings, these remakes, these adaptations from games, um, books, comics, TV shows, characters, whatever. People go to this crap, they give them their money, the filmmakers make a good chunk of their cash back the first weekend. And if the movie's not total garbage, it'll probably keep making money until they at least make a profit. And then they'll send it overseas or simultaneously open it overseas so they make a profit. You want to stop having crappy films? Then people have to wise up and stop going to see crappy movies. It's that simple. You don't go to the crappy movies, they're not going to keep making crappy films. People got to start being selective. People have to use their heads. You know a movie's going to be crappy, just, just, usually by the trailer, but <clears throat> do a little reading, do a little research, see a few interviews, look at the uh, people involved, look at their track record. You know, nine times out of ten, whether well, a film is going to suck before you ever give them your seven, eight, nine, or ten dollars. It's the same with TV. There's a lot of good TV on nowadays, but I gave up on TV a long time ago. I stopped watching TV, and I don't need TV. I can find what I want on the Internet. I enjoy YouTube for entertainment. I can find all the news I want online. Um, I feel the same about film. I go to a few films a year, the really big films that you, know, you just want to see on the big screen, that um, I have confidence that I'm probably going to get my money's worth out of it more than I would enjoy it on a TV screen. Beside that, I rent it or I buy it, and I'm very selective about that. I don't <clears throat> watch near as many films in a year now as I used to. So I really think that the, the people that I hold most responsible are the morons who just keep going to these crappy-ass films over and over again, and they never learn. And as long as they keep doing it, the schmucks in Hollywood are going to keep putting out the same garbage over and over again till you cut off the money faucet. Anyhow, that's my two cents on the subject. Keep on ranting. I'm enjoying it. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye.